Yeah, I know. I know, guys. So I just really don't know what to do. I mean, I have my aunt who's offering me a place to stay in her house in Jamaica and go to the beach, you know, meet somebody new, maybe start over. Or I can, you know, move in with Natter and stay in a one-room apartment that reeks of baba ganoush and cigarette smoke. And he's so hated by everyone I know for being abusive that I have to lie about visiting him. What are you doing? Trying to decide the next move in my life, the next big move. You know, do I? I don't know. God. I don't know. Let's bees. Hello everyone, I'm Steve, Mark's around, say hi Mark. Hey everybody! And this is Smokey Steve and Mark, either welcome or welcome back, and happy Saturday. It is the weekend, so we know what that means. Uh, this is um, Dark Roast, something or other, Coffee Made Creamer, I think it's sugar free, like it matters, and a uh, little bit of Splenda. So I hope everyone is well, I hope everyone is safe, there's a lot to be well and safe from at the moment, so just uh, look after yourselves, look after the folks around you, okay? Um, so today we are going to discuss our fair lady, Chantal, Chantal Marie, foodie beauty, big beautiful me, the daily Chantal, Chantopolis, foodie beauty at the moment. So last week we were live, and thank you to everybody who came to the live. It was kind of a sort of last minute decision. Um, I was feeling some sort of way, I was watching her videos, it was getting me a little eh, and physically I was feeling kind of meh, not, not quite there. Um, so we did do a live, and we covered a lot of ground. Now, going into this week, there was a few points that I thought needed attention drawn to them, my perspective. And uh, so we'll tell you what these are. Deleting Natter's video. Okay, this was earlier in the week, going on to another person. Going on to, Chantal going on to his channel and deleting a video about her. Because, hmm, okay. Pete's, money from Pete's Super Chats. The Super Chat money that was going to him, that's Chantal had been holding on to, because they were sent to Pete's, for Pete's, to Chantal's chat. And Payday came and went, and he don't have all the money. So why? What's her version of events? Uh, she's back at Nader's, doing more editing. She went on and off him a couple times this week. I'm such a fool. It doesn't make sense. You know, he wants me to move in there full time. It just seems like he doesn't like me, because he says so. Okay. And then Mark's going to be joining us a little bit later. Holla! Because there's some information um, that, not information, some things that could be plucked out here and there about her substance use that seemed to escalate this week. Maybe not an escalation, but a change in substance of use, perhaps? Because I, she looked a little, she looked a few kinds of high, we'll say this week. Maybe. Allegedly. Allegedly. So the first thing I wanted to start with was, in fact, the sleaziest thing I thought this week. There was a few other side points. We'll we'll try to work them in too. Uh, was deleting Natter's video. Now Natter and Chantal, as we've seen, have developed as of late. It was in the last couple weeks. This back and forth. I'm doing a live. Are you doing a live? And let's like go back and forth with each other. You know. So she'll be on the live. She finds out he's live. What's he doing? Is he talking about me? What is he saying? And then she finds out he's not talking about her at all, and she gets mad. And then he starts to, and then there's this whole circular of the two of them are live at the same time. Now, two approaches to this. One, their lives are a freaking wreck. Two, their lives are a freaking wreck, and it's staged. So, keep this in mind as we're going through here. There's a couple ways to kind of, people are taking it. Is it all staged and, and, and pathetic? Or is it all true and pathetic? So, um... Staged or not, going onto another person's channel and deleting their content is straight fucking wrong. It is wrong. I don't care if it's Natter. You know I don't like Natter. I don't care if he freaking moves on to the next one. But it's not okay to do. And the reason that was given for doing it is weak, is very weak. And the questionable bit of access to his channel. You know, there was always confusion in the beginning when he started having a YouTube channel. What's her part in it? Is it under her name? How is she helping him? Well, we know she's editing. And there was discussion about him getting monetized quickly because of 
her being attached to his channel. I didn't quite understand that, to be honest. So I'm, I'm not going to put my hands into it and act like I know what I'm saying about that part because I don't. Um, but you can't go... I don't like Natter at all, like I said. But having access to his channel in that questionable way, her explanation being that she was logged into his YouTube account to do some editing. And it just so happened that she was still logged in when um, she found herself being very upset about him dropping some truth bombs in one of his lives or videos. So she helped herself to this coincidentally logged in account that she had on her phone and deleted the video because she didn't like it. Her reason? She was mad. Tell it to the judge. I mean, he was mad. I am can't believe that TOS would be okay with one creator going into another's channel and deleting the content. It might fall back on Nader for giving out his information to other people, and they would say it's your responsibility because we told you not to give out your secret information to blah, blah, blah. Um, but I just don't think it's okay. Like, that's so brazen. Like, how dare you, kind of, to just, like, what if he had logged in access to her bank account? <laughs> That he just never signed out and helped himself to her money. You know, helped himself to, to that. Because he's monetizing his videos. He has income coming in. He's She's fucking with his money. And she doesn't see anything really too wrong with it. She didn't at the time. I was upset. I was mad. That's an okay excuse when a 13-year-old girl makes a bad decision. You know, or boy. I was mad. And then adults understand and correct their behavior and tell them what they did was wrong. And then it's growing and learning experience. If you didn't learn this lesson by now at 3730, you're not going to. It's just not right. I'm sorry. That's uh, Call me a moral high road type person. I, that's okay. Um, or the nice one or whatever. But in this instance, I'm on Natter's side. Don't touch my fucking channel without my permission. It's not okay. Um... This says nothing about her dirty deleting of her own things. We just had this happen last night. She got on and she was whacked and pathetic sounding and trying to explain that even though it looks like they're broken up and that he hates her, that it's it's not quite what it seems. It's not quite what it seems. Um, okay. This goes into a sub point of Chantal being generally sleazy and making sleazy decisions. So we're going to put this under the first point about digging into Natter stuff. Her own dirty deleting. Not a crime, but, you know, if you meant it yesterday, do you mean it today? You know, and if you don't, rather than just, you know, pluck that from, you know, your channel, maybe elaborate on, maybe I learned from this. Maybe this wasn't true, and this is how I learned it wasn't true, and I'm going to correct that behavior, and blah, blah, blah. I'm talking to the wall. I know I'm talking to the wall, but if we were talking about a person who's interested in growing, you know, there might have been... There's some room for engagement there. That's not where we're at with Chantal, but, you know, just saying. Other sleazy things that came up. Associations with um, another creator named Negs, who she had collaborated with at one point, and then they both blamed the other one for a falling out they had, and then his channel disappeared. But now his voice is appearing again on YouTube, and there's a lot of unsavory things that are said about Negs, some of which I think people are very interested in my opinion on. I don't know Negs like that, but I've never heard anything good. I'll leave it there. Not my monkey, not my circus. <laughs> but she's had problems with him. And sleaziness again, kind of associating with unsavory folks and then kind of acts like, oh, I didn't know, I hadn't heard. If she hadn't, she didn't do her research. If she did, then she knew what she was stirring with a situation like that. What other unsavory crap? Uh, pretending to be tired. This is another Chantal move. Let's say the live's going and we're all talking here, and let's say I'm Chantal. Um, and the Beezers, the v very important Beezers, ready, set, Bees, are pissed. Because I did something like, say I was going to be somewhere and then go do something else, ask for their advice, get all their support, do an activity that blows all that support out of the water. So people feel like they wasted two hours trying to give me advice and a heads up and support and this and that. Come back in an hour and say, I did the opposite of what I asked for help with and I just did what I wanted anyway. Sorry you guys wasted your time and mine. That kind of feels like the smack in the face that comes about every five days or so. Pounded together with the threats of, if you don't, you know, if you don't be nice to me. I mean, I'm translating Chantal here. If you don't be nice to me in the lives, I'm not going to do them anymore. 
we'll just do recorded videos. My ass. <laughs> She'd rather take the hate and be lazy and make the lies, you know, than she would to take a high road and, and preserve her integrity and, and not have to deal with the struggle. There's no way. She'd rather take all that shit in the face than have to sit down and record a video. There's just no way. She'd rather do the lives, and then her MO is to get no feedback, turn the comments off, turn the responses off. Uh, nobody can say boo about it. She does it on the community board, and she does it as well in the videos, too. So, other sleazy things. Pretending to be tired when you're not tired. If the chat's going, and they don't like what I'm saying, oh, God, I'm just so tired, guys. And act like I'm not seeing the thousands of messages going by that say, you're high, you were just at his place, you didn't tell everybody the truth about what you were going to do, blah, 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 blah. Unblocking and then blocking everybody, that's a power move. It's a stupid power move. It only works on people who think Chantal's opinion matters a lot. The folks who are really, really upset if she's upset. So, um, Slazy, leaving a drive through okay? Maybe not, not crime, not crime, but sleazy. Sleazy, what falls into sleazy, driving out of the drive through um, crap like that, what falls into that, too, is people that, like, are rude to mechanics, or jump the curb when they drive and laugh it off. Um, these other little things. It's tantamount to, like, shitting in a public toilet and not flushing. You know, it's not illegal. It's not stupid exactly. It's just inconsiderate. It's the only person's opinion who matters is me. Fuck social graces. Fuck this. Fuck that. And I know she supports everybody. She's a one man Sally Struthers all the way over feeding everybody this, you know, her side of the border. So she can do whatever she wants in a world that she feels that she's keeping afloat, I, I suppose. I don't know. So, with all this stuff going on with Natter, which I thought was disgusting, and I think she was trying to distract from, we had a few community posts. So, this was very shortly after, and she confessed and came through with her, I threw a tantrum and probably broke TOS or something like that. So, uh, this came up after in the community posts, because she got backlash from this and a couple other things. Guys, I'm turning off my comments, etc. for a while. I mass unblocked everyone. This was the rage stream around that. And block, 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 block. Everybody's gone because she gets into a tantrum. Um, I will unblock you again, If, but if you bring, not if you bring negativity to my channel anymore. I'm trying to recover and be more positive. Show me where. Show me receipts. Show me how. Anything. Something. Um, also, stream sniping to me is just wrong. Get your own damn content and stop leeching off of others. Now, my understanding of, of stream sniping is that if, let's say, I was live right now, you'd go on your channel and run my live at the exact same time. Maybe giving commentary to it, maybe not, but you'd be doing it at the same time. I gotta say, there's some things with content and reacting and reviewing that I'm not, like, super cool with, TOS or not. Stream sniping, if that's what I understand it to be, is not something I'm kind of okay with. It's up there with the people that do reactions who add maybe two minutes of commentary and basically reshow the, whole, reshow the whole video. This is not defending Chantal. This could be, could be me. It could be you and your content. It could be anybody's content. But just to completely reshow it. Not archived, not really, not taking anything out, not adding any text in, not blurring it even, or shrinking, like, just taking it pretty much, okay, he, he shrunk it, there's a couple other folks too. Uh, I just, personal opinion, it's not something I think I would do, but mark the date, because YouTube makes hypocrites out of a lot of us, so just stay tuned, I guess, but it's not something I'm okay with. I wouldn't encourage it, I wouldn't really like doing it, I don't think, but that's Steve. That's, that's me, I, me, Steve. That doesn't have to be you. He, she, they, you. You can have your own thoughts, of course. Um, looking in to see if it's a violation of TOS and she'll take action accordingly. Even if it is, it could be a clear-cut case. She's too lazy to follow up. Also, please, in the next one. Also, please, in the future, if you send super chats, don't expect or ask for specific expenditures. If you send a super chat, you have to accept that from now on, your money might be going to LACMA or wherever. Read, drugs, the abusive in every way relationship, 
a lot of food, all that veterinary care, you know, things like that. If you want me to spend it how you want, don't send it. Thank you. Well, I'm sorry to have bothered with my money. I, 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 and the last one she put out in that short, it was like three or four community posts in an hour. Oh, and I will be spending much time going after certain channels for bullying and harassment. Certain channels go too far and will be reported. Drug shaming, cokey cokey, we know who she's talking about. Um, it's not constructive criticism. Sorry, not sorry, enough is enough. So she fired in a few different directions, I think trying to distract. You know, she's like, oh, stream sniping. Oh, bullying. Oh, super chats. You know, just seeing what would stick and, and you know, she's always off one distraction onto the other. So, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So that brings us into Pete's Super Chat money. So, don't always forget the last thing and go to the next. So the biggest thing was that you went off of Nader's channel. And then now there's a discussion about Pete's. Co Pete's has a channel called Pete's in My Mind, which is so cute. So cute. Um, Pete's. I have a different look at Pete's after this week. Um, not better, worse but different as far as maybe what his future plans are. So they share a lease. They share an apartment. The leasing terms have been discussed in so many directions. I don't even feel like I know the truth, and I don't even know if there's one out there to be had. Um, but before Pete's channel was monetized, which happened pretty quickly, people were sending super chats to Chantal for Pete's. Okay, so Mark has a channel called Everything's Coming Up Mark, Okay. And it doesn't have a thousand subs yet. So let's say I have a separate channel called, you know, Uncle Steve. You're sending money to me, but you want me to give it to him when his channel's up and running. Okay? So let's say you give it to me. And it's payday. And I get it. And Mark, unprovoked, says, no, I didn't get all my Super Chat money. I will. He gave me some of it. You know. But, yeah, not all of it. And then that gets out a little bit. So, um, Pete's video that he posted said that he did get a little bit of it, but not all of it. Now, in my head, I'm, I'm finding problems with this a little bit. Um, it's a s weird situation to send a super chat to her for him because a cut of it comes out, other stuff comes out. But bottom line, if someone sends you $5 and say, hey, can you pass this to Pete's good luck on his new channel? Give him the five bucks. You're going to cut out the 30% YouTube was going to take anyway and then give it to him. Um, okay. Chantal's response to everyone is, he'll get it. Even to him, I think the response was, he'll get his money. Um, she decided <laughs> that his money would be better spent elsewhere. So she's not giving it to him. It came straight to her and it's at her discretion how much she wants to give him. Now, she said in a stream she gave him like $1,000 and he has a credit card to get food anytime he wants. Does that mean we're not driving him? Or that he couldn't order food to the house? I think she was just, his neediness uh, was creeping up on her. And I don't feel bad for her because she is a vacuum of neediness in her day-to-day -day life. But um, he was kind of like, I the money. And she was kind of like, you don't know how to manage money. So, no. You know. She only gave him half of the super chats that were sent to her for him. The other part of it, she kind of said very snarkedly, you really think a new computer is more important than rent? <sighs> so that's what it sounds like she let out passive aggressively, that Pete sounded like he wanted to save for and use his money for. And she decided that his money would be better spent, which was hers. The money came to her. So she could put him over a barrel and say, you have no right to it. But as far as not being sleazy, um, the money that was meant for him, she's not giving all of it to him. She took out of it to pay for his part of what I guess would be rent, bills, utilities, X, Y, Z. That didn't have to be such a snarky ass discussion. It didn't have to be such a big thing. And why would Pete's mention it unless he felt misled? Or put on the spot? Or betrayed? Why is he acting like it's kind of like a bummer and a surprise? Y'all should have talked about this. You don't want us to talk about your finances. How about you two talk about your finances? 
and get it together. Yeah, Chantal is, you know, the mommy war bucks, big mama, throwing her money around. I'm supporting 15 people, family members, friends, you know, the better part of the Upper West Side of this, you know, she's, she's got, she's keeping everybody afloat. She's keeping everybody afloat. So, however, as far as Pete's in this, so Pete's mentions in that stream, no, maybe in that stream, maybe another, he has a job interview. So Pete's has been out of work. Oh, by the way, I see you, Pete's. I hope you're doing well. Sorry about Timbit. I'm, it probably still burns. He gets a job interview. Now, they live in suburban Ottawa, I believe. It's in, did he say Toronto? Did he say Toronto? Um, and she's looking at him like he's crazy, and frankly, so was I. I'm like, Pete's, you don't drive. Uh, Toronto's five hours away, isn't it? Um, and there's no, how are you going to get there? You're going to have to move. And I don't know what starting pay is at a comic book store. Um, I'm not trying to be a dick. I don't know. And I don't know about cost of living and, and taxes and subsidized housing in Canada. But Toronto is a, is a world-class kind of city. It's expensive. And I don't think you can live in a downtown studio close to work on whatever the hourly wage is there. You know, I think it's probably pretty expensive. But it doesn't seem to me, unless she had a previous plan with him, that he would have... Either he very naively pulled out of his ass that he could move five hours away with no money, no savings, and an hourly job without Chantal. I, either he thought they were going to do something together, or he's just blindly naive to how doing some of those things happen. So if he's that naive, there's a little... Tiny bit of pity, tiny bit of somebody did you wrong when you were young. Kind of a, okay, Chantal, maybe you've done your duty. Maybe you should, maybe he needs help from another place now. You know, because maybe the help isn't helping at this point. He'd be good on his own. Not on his own necessarily, but away from her as the person who's helping. Maybe get help from some other folks too. I know he was in therapy and stuff. People that do mental health have other services, too. You can get someone to help manage your bills. You can get someone who's kind of a caseworker, get your round places, get a peer specialist, someone who's also got some mental health concerns. They can talk to you about it and not deny they have it every three days or self-medicate it with being, you know, high on marijuana or coke or anything like that. So... I was so mad about the Pete Super Chats, too. I was so upset about it. Again, not wrong, but felt sleazy to me. Felt sleazy. And her explanation of it, I can just picture it. The money goes into her account, and she says, well, Pete, I mean, you're out of work. you got to pay the bills. So it, it only makes sense. And it, he probably had in his mind that he was going to have money starting on that date. And then she said she gave him a grand, and, and who knows? Who knows? I think I know, but I think a lot of people think they know. I don't know. So anyway, God love you, Pete's. Um, oh, and while we're talking about Super Chats, going to one person and not another and going for one thing and not another, it's a waste for it to go to a computer when there's bills to be paid. But not... Um, do I even need to list the other luxuries that have been paid for? She can. It's her money. I'm not saying she can't go out and buy pounds and pounds and pounds of edibles. That's her prerogative, you know, to do. But it looks very silly when it's discussed in other lights. You know, she can spend her money however he wants, but that doesn't mean she's doing it in a way that isn't a little, come on, come on. So, any, any range. Oh, and as far as don't send her stuff for Pete's, if you don't want it to be for her, don't send her money to take the cats to the vet and then not take them. <laughs> the person wanted their money back eventually because it was a simple thing. Your cats haven't been to the vet in a while. Here's, here's a buck. Take them to the vet. Nope. Either she did, she didn't. She plays games. She likes to get people riled up, and she does it pretty well. You know, oh, she, what was it, today's? No, it was two days ago, I think. Someone said, did you take them to the vet? She's like, no, I'm never taking them to the vet, ever. She got in the McDonald's line, I think it was today, and she was going to get out of line again because she got out of line at the other McDonald's a couple, what was it, last night? Got in line decided she didn't like the food, or she wasn't in the mood for it, and drove off. And then, in totally sober, smacked the curb on her way out, too. Totally sober when she smacked the curb. Okay, 
So circle back around here through the week, and she's been very well dressed every day. She's been almost date ready every day, which I kind of had said last week, because she's either waiting for him to call, we know who him is, matter, and come over and say, yes, I need you now, I need you for this, I need you for that. If he said, come over and shine my shoes with your hair, she'd show up and go do it. Um, that goes from like this subservient, dominate, you know, passive kind of sexual vibe to slave, to pathetic, you know, and if you're into humiliation stuff like that, maybe it's okay. Like if it's a dynamic you like in a relationship, but that that's beyond, that's beyond that. It's really beyond it. And, oh, <laughs> Her really, okay, her aunt's around. Now, right as Natter's on his way out, because it's over, because he says it's over, and she didn't like what he said in the live, and so he's gone, and she's allegedly moving on. Her aunt is visiting. Now, we all know the aunt who lives in Jamaica. We've been hearing about the aunt in Jamaica for a while. We've been hearing about Chantal moving to Jamaica for a while. It's, it's always been on the back burner. Whenever she decides she doesn't know what she wants to do with her life, it's like, I don't know, my aunt's on the back burner. It's like when she needs something to get out of life and grieve about. She's like, I just can't get out of bed today. I'm still going through so much. I'm really tired. She must have the most tiring awake times because she's always tired. She's always tired. I know it's the edibles and probably some other stuff, but she always says that she's too tired for any of this stuff. So uh, suddenly she's going to snap awake and fly across the ocean to go to Jamaica and um, live freely with her aunt and eat, take fruit off the tree and bite it and let the juices run down and all this shit. Would she take Natter over her aunt? Okay, first of all, her and Natter and her and Jamaica, none of that's going to happen. Neither one is going to happen. Um, but even fictitiously, who would choose Natter over Jamaica? Who? Am I going to sit in an apartment and watch a guy cook and Mark has thoughts on his cooking, but I'll save that for later. Actually, no. Mark's my partner. I'll say it now. Mark was a chef for 25 years, and he can come out and reaffirm it. He said, if that guy was anything more than a sous chef, I'd be stunned. So there. Mark, I just called him out. You don't have to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jamaica. Of course I would go to Jamaica rather than freaking stay with Natter. You know, go do a whole, like, eat, pray, love, eat more kind of thing and just get away from all of it you know just go you can work from wherever you have a phone and a debit card you could go wherever you want to go you don't have to settle for some dumb shit you know i mean it's you can but i don't know this sounds this ant sounds pretty cool okay the ant sounds pretty cool but don't burn a bridge don't burn a bridge with her because then one of your last escapes might actually be like gone with that and burning a bridge with her would be tough because it sounds like especially when you were dealing with natter at the beginning and maybe not as much now there was turmoil with the family your her family about do we want him to be with her do we uh like the choices she's making i know it started heavily with drugs first with the first trip to the emergency room um, and the mixed reasons people think she was there, some said drug overdose, some said attention seeking, some said she might have been the victim of an act of violence and that pushed her there. I'm not naming names or accusations, just saying. Um, but because of all the bullshit and drama that she causes, if she ever does decide she wants to get well, bit by bit, or a whole one day overhaul, whatever she wants to do, get the eating under control, get the drugs under control, learn how to be in a relationship with a person where it's it's more even, you know? I mean, if she could mail him his debit card, she'd never see him again. He's not dating her. He's dating her debit card. He's got no use for her. And he's said so, so many times. So again, it's either a script or he's like really, 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 really over you. Really over you. Like you took a hyper possessive man and turn him off. Um, and that's fine. He was no good anyway. Get on with it. Get on with it already. All right. It's not complicated. She had said they're not in a relationship. And then she brings, um, imagine the live that she did where she deleted it. It was last night. Can't imagine not living with him again, not seeing him again. He wants me to move in full time, she says. 
I don't believe it at all. I don't believe it at all. And someone says, you know, why? And she says, well, he just acts like he wants nothing to do with me because we're not technically together. He just acts like he wants nothing to do with me. We're all misperceiving this. Again, it's not <laughs> that it's actually happening that way. All 80, I guess it's almost 90,000 of us now, her subs have gone up. Uh, 90,000 of us are misunderstanding what we're seeing with our own eyes and hearing with our ears. Um, instead, she gets it. She gets it. And she... This is really unfortunate. This is one of the sadder weeks for me, I think. It just smacks desperation. It smacks of desperation on her part. Go over, yes, sir, I need to edit your video. I will go help you do it if you help me do this. He cooked me a bunch of food. So, you know, I agreed to go over there. She's waiting on bated breath. She'll do, she'll really do anything for him now, I think. Because she wants it back. She doesn't want to admit that she wasted six months. She likes the partying. She likes the food. And she likes the sex. I mean, she is Caligula. All, all, the, all day. All day. And he provides all of that. The problem is that he comes with a little bit of attitude. And a light touch every so often. So... Um, and then there's her substance use. Her mood changed a lot this week, so I'm bringing in a pro to share some observations. Mark! Yeah. Could you come in here, please? I could. Come hither, Mark. I come am hither. Here. You guys know Mark, of hey, course. Everybody. How are you? <laughs> so, I was, uh, yeah, getting Christmas stuff out, you know, as you yeah, can see, as you can you see <laughs> yeah, I didn't s explain this, but you know, it's, it's the Christmas season here yes. on Smokey Steven Mark. Yes. So we were just talking about Chantal. Yeah, I know. Like a lot of weeks we do. And, um, it's fun. I do like doing the reviews, even though, <laughs> even though it's, you know, whatever. So we talked about her kind of some sleazy decisions that she's made. Yeah. You know, not illegal, not TOS maybe, but sleazy nonetheless. Mm -hmm. um, dealing with Pete's and, and who's who's got money, who's got the money and who doesn't. Yeah. And then dealing with Natter. Uh, mm. But aside from that, her energy levels this week have been way up and oh, way yeah. down. Yeah. And one of the things that we had talked about, I think you specifically, maybe more than me and some other folks, was her drug use, mm -hmm. which you've always maintained is consistently happening underneath yeah. all of this. Oh, yeah. Um, and other folks have suggested it, but what do you make of this week's little... I think it's more evident this week for sure. I think it's <laughs> more evident. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, just like you said, the, the, uh, the ups and the downs. I mean, that's classic. And I mean, it's been very up and down this week. And I mean, come on, like... Look at this picture. I mean, first of all, why would you want to go on and show yourself in this way at all? Anybody but her. I mean, like, you know, it's it's disturbing to see it. It's yeah. triggering to people. It's, you know, I know that she's not responsible for, you know, the masses or, or, or anybody else, actually. But, you know, when you do have a platform like this, mm -hmm. you do have to take on some responsibility. You do. Uh, 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 for what you put out and how people perceive what you put out. You know, mm -hmm. I do believe that, you know. Um, and she's just not doing anybody any favors no, at all. she certainly isn't. Uh, so there's the up and down, you know, there are, like you said, the decision making. There's some erratic decisions being made this week that I don't know if she would have made six months ago. I'm not sure. At this point, for as long as we've been watching this recent saga, mm -hmm. like, I'm like, she's been like this all the time, you yeah. know? Like with pizza's money and stuff like that. Like, who is she to decide where his money goes or what he spends it on. I mean, if this is something that they discussed and whatever, okay. But when he was telling his side of it, he was stumbling over his words. He didn't know what... I actually felt bad for him. He was trying like... to make an excuse for her, but couldn't come up with one. Yeah. You know, it was... Um, well, abused was people sad, tend to make actually. excuses for their abusers. Yeah. But, you know, unfortunately... Just talking. I'm not saying. I'm just, just talking. That's on him. Yeah. I mean, he's he going to have to grow a set and stand up to her. I mean, you know, but but whatever. Yeah. But, but more than that, though, the behaviors. Okay, like, 
what we're getting from her, we should be getting from a little, you know, teenage girl in high school who is, you know, experimenting with drugs, is love sick, is, I mean, it, emo, it, it, the whole, it, it's so yeah. immature. We have to remember, she's like almost 40. <laughs> and she's around my age. Like, acting like that, like, I, it just blows my mind. The, uh, the running over the curb thing. Oh, and then she comes back later and says, oh, I do that I do all that when the I'm time. sober all the time. No, you know what? You were high. You were live streaming, uh, worried about what you were going to get to eat. And it's irresponsible. And in, in my personal opinion, that type of behavior is really unacceptable that's because the you most, put other people yeah. at risk. It's the most telling, too. Like, that's the most. In 12-step circles, they'll say sober behaviors. It's like, well, as long as I'm not using, what do you mean sober behavior? Right, right, right. Sober behavior, as they would frame it, would be not ordering something, getting out of line and deciding the corporation doesn't, like... Yeah, that is... It doesn't matter. It's, that's it's beneath me. It goes back to me. erratic decision-making, behaviors, beha that, that little yeah. situation right there. And how many times has she done that? Yeah. It's just... Okay, no, she didn't break any laws, but it's just... Not right. But is this the level we're going like to? That. As long as it's not illegal, it's it's anything goes. I guess it's a matter of character. Whether or not that you think some exactly most of her choices right. are right or wrong. Because yeah. they don't break the law, most yeah. of them. Mm -hmm. Of any of them. And then even on TOS, her channel's up. A lot of other channels who've tried to flag her, she's flagged and they're gone. Yeah, right. So like what what? What what is like what is know. that? I don't know. And this whole thing of what she did by taking his his you know video down, like yeah. deleting that, like and all that. That to me, I there's something else going on there because that is a direct violation. Like, you can't do that. It doesn't even matter whose name. Like so, my opinion on that is like there has to be something more going on. One, either he didn't report her because he wants to hang something over her head, or you know maybe. His channel really is under the umbrella of her channel. Yeah. So she can do that. We don't know. Do we know? We don't know. Or they're all in on it. Or they're all in There's on the, it. And we're this all in on a together all thing. Just all set up. All of it. And I wouldn't be surprised if that was the situation either. It's a distinct possibility. It's as it's as possible as anything else. It's so um, so it's worth know. putting on the table in in discussion. Yeah, so. and then her being all dressed up every day this week and da 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 lipstick and the hair. You know when she's home and has nowhere to go, it's the cat pajamas. Oh my gosh! Nothing no but love. hair fibers. Nothing. I, I have mean, favorite you know. pajama pants too, but oh, they I don't. Do too. They don't get crusty by the time no, I wash no, no, them. No, 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 no. Yes, I don't. And dress she was like, all yeah. proud. She bought some new underwear. <laughs> do you oh. see that underwear? Oh. I might have a picture. If I do, I'll put oh, it right great here. Great fancy Moses see those underwear. <laughs> you know what? Sexy at any size. I don't care. <laughs> you know me too. But the Fuck point it. is, is that she now has clean underwear. I can't imagine what the old underwear was like. But we're not even going there. And her washing machine is too like a room away. I know. If our laundry was a room away. No, it's called I'll say it. it's called I'm jealous. laziness and yeah. part of these behaviors, you know, like, you know, like dirty apartments, not cleaning the cat box, not even taking care of the cats properly. Oh, that And I know she it. totally defended. Oh, you know, the, 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 what did she say? You know, animal welfare has been to my house. I don't even know how many times and they determined that the cats are well cared for. Come on, keep talking, keep talking. Like, it's just normal, regular, everyday people do not have the cats come to their house all the time. Animal welfare coming to their house all the time. You know, she she created all of this stuff herself. And in my opinion, all of this stuff is a direct result of her continued drug use. She has been doing this the entire time. What I really think is, now, she they broke up, right? Again and again and again. Maybe they're a little closer but this yet time. But... she goes over to edit his videos. What the hell is that? Like, okay, it, it makes... It makes no sense to me at all. The little string that keeps them together there is drugs. She goes back because she can get drugs, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, and, of course, she's in love. love. She's in love. He just acts like he hates me because, well, he hates me. But um, you should see what it's like when we're alone. He's like a little puppy dog. 
dumb. totally contradicts so many things she had said in the past. Like, it's mm-hmm. just so... You can tell yourself whatever you want, but we heard you the yeah, first time. we do. I mean, there, we you know, heard once it's you the first there, time. it's public and it's forever. No. You know, she can dirty delete all she wants, but somebody out there has it. Go on know? someone's channel, delete their video to try to arc the ne- change the whole yeah, story to match right. your lies? Right. Oh. Well, it's the same thing. That's not you cool. know, going in and plucking out comments you don't like and deleting them so when someone and when, else looks at it, it looks like it's all positive and supportive. And when there ain't shit positive, you just turn the comments <laughs> turn them off. <laughs> turn them off. No comments. Nobody can say a I thing here. I think it's here. all dirty. I, um, that, you know, again, just my opinion. I just think, you know, and creators can do what they want you know um we don't you know shut off our comments or cherry pick comments or anything like that and i i think most people don't who are creators but um you know she's trying to she's trying to tell a whole story here that's in her favor kind of by doing those kind of things and it's just not working it's it's not no he's too volatile she yeah bit off more than she could chew as far as a youtube playmate i guess so i don't know I I just it just but but yes to the answer to your question absolutely in my opinion this drug use has been going on the whole time poly drug use have been going on this poly entire substances. time yes yes po- uh, this entire time and um you know this isn't you know this isn't just going to end like it's not going to be like oh we broke up and boom everything moves on and nothing happens mm-hmm. this is going to come to an end eventually with something happening yeah either not being able to get dr- and drugs are going to be involved either not being able to get drugs or somebody getting arrested or something yeah. something big is going to happen and i hope i'm wrong i hope i hope this all just kind of fizzles out and we get back to the old foodie beauty yeah but can't um, you just eat it's not going to happen that way it's so well but anyway, thank you mark for your input. nice to see everybody <laughs> nice to see you yeah All right, folks. Well, I don't know where to take it from there. I guess we'll just ride this into next week. Um, The momentum of all this seems to be more back and forth. We're friends. We're not friends. I'm editing. I'm not editing. It's nobody's business. Mind your own business. Um, We're still cycling a little bit here, so I don't think it'll change too much. I don't expect any holiday content. She might get half a tree. She might think that she's going to do Vlogmas. She's not. Um, so I wouldn't expect anything like that to come up. I don't know. Like, I gotta say, if this is a narrative, like, fake, and they're just playing back and forth, I don't know. It's not super interesting to watch. Um, it's a change in content. You know, she's making more now than she did doing mukbangs, didn't she? I don't know. And with no sense of self-esteem and no sense of caution, um, what would stop her from keeping on, keeping on? So... So that's all I got for this week, guys. There's a lot that didn't fall into this 40 minutes, but it is 40 minutes. So we are going to wrap it up there. Feel free to leave anything in the comments, anything I missed, or if there was any info I got wrong, please feel free to fact check me below so that we're all on the same page with something like the truth. Thank you all for watching as well. Please do subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get alerts when we have new videos and when we go live. You can follow us on Facebook at Smokey Steve Space and Mark or on Instagram at Smokey Steve and Mark. Our email address and contact information is listed below as well. Thank you again, and we will catch up with y'all tomorrow. We are going live at 6 p.m. Eastern for our regular Sunday live. Uh, it's open chat, low key. You know, we have good mods. It's usually pretty chill, but if you're free, stop by. All right. Thanks for watching. Mark, say bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.